he just lays um, down near my belly and talks to our daughter um, tells her to grow big and strong and he loves her and things like that hi everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for joining and if you've already subscribed thank you so so much in today's video, I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions because I did want to do a quick Q&A video for whoever wants to know some questions related mostly to my pregnancy. I don't know if anybody asked anything unrelated to pregnancy, but I'm just going to answer them for you today. So if I didn't answer a question you were curious about, then please leave it in the comments and I can make another one of these videos maybe in a few weeks if you'd like to see another one. So. If you do want to see more Q&A's, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you are interested. The first question is, as a soon-to-be parent, what do you think your biggest challenge will be? Honestly, I don't know because I feel like you don't know what you don't know, which sounds stupid, but I really don't know what to expect. So I think the biggest challenge, if I have to pick one, is probably going to be just learning how to get into a routine and be flexible because I think I mentioned this before in another video I am a planner and when you have a baby you can't really plan every detail like even the birth I don't know what my birth is going to be like I have a plan and I have an idea and a hope of what I want it to be like but I think that coming to terms with the fact that I can't control everything and now that a baby is coming to our family I'm just gonna have to be as flexible as possible and just go with the flow. So I think that's gonna be probably the biggest challenge. I, like general challenge. I think the other thing is gonna be breastfeeding. I'm really nervous about it. And I heard that it can be quite difficult for some people. So I hope that it's not that difficult for me because I do wanna breastfeed my daughter. So I think those are probably the main challenges learning to be flexible and let go of control when you just have to go with the flow and breastfeeding. Next question is, hi Audrey, how about your mother? Your father lives with your stepmother, right? Sorry if it feels inconvenient to answer. So I have been wanting to actually make a video about my mom just because I feel a little emotional now that I'm having my own child and it's something that I haven't opened up about on this channel. I don't tell everybody about my family history slash background because it is quite painful. So I'm not going to answer it today in this video, but I do hope that sometime in the next few weeks, I'll come up with the courage to share my story and let you guys know more about that other half of me because it it's not a nice story. It's not a happy story, but it does have a big impact on who I am today. So. I don't forget about it, but I just I just don't always share what it what it's about. So sorry that's vague and I'm not telling you anything right now, but that's just something that is for another time. The next question, which prenatal vitamins are you taking? So I am a baby and I don't like to swallow large pills. So I'm actually taking these, which is the Vitafusion gummy prenatals. Um, this one's almost gone, I have another bottle in the kitchen, but I have been taking these since February, so now it is October. So I've been taking them for quite a while. I was taking them before I got pregnant because I knew I wanted my body to be prepared. So I'm taking these prenatals, and then since the gummies don't include iron, I also take an iron supplement, which is this one. This is so cheap at Target. This is like $2 and something for a 30 day supply of iron. And the thing I like about it, like I said, I'm not good at taking pills. It is so, so small, like so small. So I can take this without any problems. And then I am taking two other vitamins because before I got pregnant, I had blood work done and I was deficient in vitamin D. So I'm taking this D3. I take this one daily and I only take half a dose because one dose is two of these, which is 2,000 international units. But I only need 1,000 a day because I'm not that crazy. So I take one of these a day. And then I was also deficient in B12. B12, you can get it in some kind of food supplement, like supplement in food a lot. Same with D. Like I drank orange juice, which has vitamin D in it. 
Um, but for the B, I don't take it every day. I take it twice a week and I just take one gummy. So this will last me a really long time. But those are the supplements I've been taking since I've been pregnant. And I think they've been working well because baby girl is growing exactly the way she's supposed to. So that makes me so happy. Somebody asked, when will the baby be born? My due date is February 13th, 2020. But I don't know why. I personally feel like she's going to come earlier than that. My personal intuition is telling me she's going to be born like February 8th. I don't know why that date is just like coming to me. And I feel like women kind of have that weird sixth sense where you can guess things. Like I knew it was a girl before I found out. I, I totally knew. And so I feel like this is one of those things where it's probably going to be February 8th just because I have a feeling it is. I don't have a planned c-section or anything scheduled so it's not like i'm controlling that but i think she's gonna come like a week early do you have a theme for the nursery and are you gonna paint the entire room so hui this weekend is actually painting the nursery i don't want to paint anything because of the baby my doctor said it would be fine if i painted if i kept the windows open but i just want to be safe and not do it so he's been doing everything so we are painting the nursery it's going to be a very light cream color because i want it to be neutral so that way when the second baby comes they can use that room and we don't have to repaint it and the theme is going to be deer because her name is nai which is that's not her name name that is her Vietnamese home name so her home, name at home is Nai which means deer so I want it to be a like woodland deer theme but also minimal so furniture is going to be white walls are going to be like a cream color with white trim and then we can have flexibility with the color of everything else so if we decide we want to do I personally am thinking like pink gold like sparkly and deer and then like some greenery for like forest like leaves so that's a theme i'm hoping to do but again it's up for flexibility for if we have the second baby and it happens to be a boy i didn't want to buy like stuff that's really girly like paint like make the walls pink and then buy pink furniture or anything because you never know with the second one so that's my plan for the nursery and i'm so 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 excited for it should be done being painted so we can actually start getting up there because I do have some baby clothes and stuff and they're just stored in this guest room closet right now because I can't put them in her room yet because her room is not ready but I'm really excited so I will show you guys the whole transformation of that somebody else asked how will it be with your mother when your mother-in-law stays in the new house once you deliver the baby I don't know how it's gonna be I hope it's gonna be good so I mentioned that our mother, my mother-in-law is planning to come to the US when the baby comes and she's going to stay with us for an extended period. I don't know how long because I personally think she should just stay with us, but she might want to go back to Vietnam, so it's up to her. But she will be here at some point. Why are you distracting me? Hui is outside. I'm doing a Q&A! You wanna see? Hey, Hui. Hey, he's a creep. <laughs> what a creep! Sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah, she'll be coming. The house is big enough for her to be here. That's like why we got such a big house. I know some people were like, wow, your house is so big. It's four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. So yes, it's big because we're hoping that mom will stay with us for maybe forever, who knows. She does have her own room we're working on right now. We painted her his mom's room already. So we're getting that set up. That's also gonna be decorated kind of nice. It's a white room but then we're gonna have purple like curtains and bedspread and stuff because she loves the color purple so i wanted to make it special for her i'm not telling her i don't know if we spoiled it already but i just want to make it really nice for her when she comes i'm gonna cry i'm like i feel emotional and i'm just so excited for her to come and stay with us it's gonna be a big help so yeah somebody asked me who will look after the baby when you go back to work so it will be my mother-in-law i am lucky enough that i have somebody that can help us and we won't have to pay for childcare. i know that's a big problem for a lot of moms when 
they need to work because they need to make money for their family but they also can't really afford childcare so we're really lucky in that way I do plan to go back to work full time like once I go back to work it's not gonna be I mean so it could be part time for the first couple weeks just for easing into it but I definitely will be full time employed at some point after the baby comes just because life's expensive I can't be a stay at home mom unfortunately that is my dream but we have a mortgage to pay and a car payment and a baby to raise so we need money so I will be going back to work and I will also be breastfeeding I mentioned earlier in the video that I do want to breastfeed my goal is to breastfeed for at least six months hopefully nine would be ideal um, so I will have to pump because I will be going back to work so there's gonna be a lot of learning to do I actually work with someone now who just had a baby about five months ago and she pumps at work so I'm gonna be asking her a lot of questions about like how things work and what's her routine and stuff if she doesn't mind I hope but yeah she has three kids so she's a very seasoned mom and I am not so I'm really excited to ask her questions somebody asked do you mind letting us know the cost of your house and how long did you save for it so I don't really like to talk about finances on the internet or like to strangers I know that in Vietnamese culture it's normal to ask about prices of stuff but in American culture it's kind of not so I don't really want to tell you guys the exact price of my house I will say that it was pretty expensive because we do live in New Jersey <clears throat> but it was not out of this world because we obviously could afford it um, we have been saving since like 2014 first of all we we moved to New Jersey in 2014 and we went to grad school and I was working and during that period we were paying for his tuition and also paying off my student loans so after about two years we paid off my loans completely then we were able to really save for the house so we've been saving I would say for the house for like at least three years or four years and that involved a lot of hard work because we had to budget obviously to do that we did live in an apartment that was quite expensive then we moved to another apartment before coming here and that helped us to be able to save faster because we freed up some money from tolls gas and just a higher rent so that helped a lot to get us here quicker to the point where we didn't feel afraid to be buying a house so it does take a lot of time to save for a house but if you're really want like if it's something you really want you can totally do it you just have to be dedicated to putting money away every month so that's what we did we we opened a account at a bank that had a high interest rate for savings not your normal bank account because this normal savings account has barely any interest we also put money into certificate deposit accounts that matured after a year that gave us some money so it's just like small ways to invest our money that gave us a little more return so I think if you're if you want to save for anything big at all you should think more in terms of investment rather than just savings because savings doesn't do anything for you the bank alone doesn't you have to invest so Hui he's got a master's in finance so obviously that's his forte and he was really good at helping us with getting to where we wanted to be next question is do you let your baby listen to music by placing headphones on your stomach I didn't really think about that I mean I listened to music in the car and I thought maybe she could hear it but apparently maybe she can't uh, I do talk to her every day we both do he comes he spends some time with my belly like it's very cute in the morning or before bed he just lays um, down near my belly and talks to our daughter um, tells her to grow big and strong and he loves her and things like that so we do talk to her but I haven't done like head headphones music and then I think the last question is any names yet so I actually filmed a video reacting to your baby names I still don't know what her name is it is a struggle but I have ideas we has ideas we haven't agreed on which idea will be the name but I am not gonna share the name until she's born I think so 
You'll have to wait a while to find out her name, but until then, you can just call her Nai because that is her nickname. So, hi Nai, my oi. I love you. So those are the questions I had for you from you guys today. I'm glad this video wasn't too too long because I was a little afraid of that. So if you guys have questions I didn't answer or if you just didn't get a chance to ask your question, please leave your questions down below and I will do a part two if I have enough questions. Like maybe if I get like 10 more questions, I can do a part two that will come out maybe in like two or three weeks from this video. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!